Well, a guy who should be all smiles uh, this morning after that uh, Browns win is this man, Steve Carr. Steve joins us this morning. Steve, uh, student success specialist with uh, Northern Pennsylvania Regional College. Good morning, Steve. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah, good to see you this morning. Thank you. It's a great day to be alive. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> a diehard Steeler fan. Uh, I'll get back to you on that one. Okay. <laughs> uh, listen, a lot to uh, go over. You've been a very busy guy. We have. Yeah, We've well, been very busy. Yeah. Well, tell us a little bit about uh, Northern Pennsylvania Regional College. So the Northern Pennsylvania Regional College is uh, an affordable and accessible opportunity for post-secondary education in Northwest Pennsylvania right now. Um, we started with this idea about 10 years ago, or at least uh, people up in Warren and Bradford came up with this idea, and they, uh, they wanted to make sure that uh, our, our, our students, once they graduated from high school, had an opportunity um, to get into some classes that uh, they otherwise might not get into. Uh, for example, all the community colleges in Pennsylvania are south of Interstate 80, which means Ooh. all the open enrollment schools in Pennsylvania are south of Interstate 80. So our nine-county uh, regional college, which is a, essentially a giant community college, if you will, um, offers open enrollment. So if you have a high school diploma or a GED, you can take classes with us. And that wasn't available up until a couple years ago. Really? And, and, and now, because we are backed by the state legislature, we are in the Pennsylvania Department of Education uh, books uh, as our own line item in there, uh, we're going to be here for a little while, and we're going to try to um, uh, provide some opportunities in edu education for uh, you know students in, in Crawford and Erie and Venango and Forest and Warren and, and uh, five other counties in, in Northwest PA. So talk about the, the kind of student. And when you say student, it's not just the, the typical high school student that's, you know, leaving and maybe they just don't know what's going on. But this, I mean, this applies to a lot of folks. Correct. So, it, 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 you know, I'll just give you a brief example. My mother, uh, whose age I will not uh, reveal, took classes last summer. You know, she took an introduction to philosophy class uh, because she was interested. Huh. And uh, so it, it's an opportunity for people in the community to come out and, and sit down and learn. She audited the class, which was um, uh, significantly cheaper than taking the class for credit. Uh, we also have, uh, I also have a student right now who's 35 years old who has uh, several children, her husband works quite a bit that uh, she's looking to uh, um, uh, get a degree so she can advance her career. So it's not just for the normal student that graduates from high school. Um, we do want those students that are graduating sure. from high school to go into our two-year degree programs or just come for a year before they transfer into a four-year school. Um, and then we also do dual enrollment for high school students. So if you're a high school student, you can get college credit. You can take a college class with us in the evenings down at the University of Pittsburgh at Titusville or at the Meanville Vote Tech or at East Forest or West Forest. These are the areas that I cover. And oh, Wait a second. So folks don't have to drive to Warren. I mean, they can get... Bingo. Okay. That's correct. So, all right. So we'll back up a little bit. Yeah. Here. So the way we work is uh, instead of having a bricks and mortar college uh -huh. that you go to and you pay for overhead for housing and meals and, and the lazy river and the football team. Uh, mind you, we're Those undefeated. We're undefeated. We're undefeated. Um, um, but that overhead that, 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 uh, that you have to pay when you go to college to, to just live there, um, we take that out and we pass that savings right, right along to the student. So what we do is, um, Essentially, I, I like to say it's FaceTime on steroids or Skype on steroids. It's, it's called interactive television. And what we do is, uh, let's say the professor is teaching from Gannon University. Gannon just happens to be our big brother and big sister in this, in this operation right now. Um, they provide our accreditation until we submit for our middle states, which will be happening within the next year. Um, let's say we have a professor that's teaching from Gannon University. Uh, one of our classes, they teach a live class up there, and they are on what's called a Starleaf or a Polycom system. It's, uh, it's, uh, 
there's the camera and a microphone and a giant 65 inch TV. And the student goes in, sits down in the, like Amy and I are right here. And there's a big TV in front of them and there's a microphone that comes out and you can see the camera and when class starts, the, the professor pops onto the screen and says, uh, Steve, are you here? And I hit the button, I say, yes, I'm here. And they say, Amy, are you here? And Amy will hit the button and say, I'm here. And uh, away we go. So it's two way interaction for the class. Now, the, I'm taking class here at the University of Pittsburgh at Titusville, or I'm taking it at the Meadville Boat Tech, or I'm taking it at East Forest or West Forest High School. I don't have to leave my community. I can stay at home, sleep in my own bed, yeah. eat my mom's food, and uh, keep my job during the day because our classes are in the evening. So we allow uh, a different experience for students, you know, students that have lives. So we're not going to get the typical four-year student that's going away to college. Uh, ours are a little bit more non-traditional. Uh, you know, they have jobs, they have families, they, they're busy with their lives. And, you know, Northwest PA, that's what we're all about here. I mean, we're busy people. And, uh, but I would say also if, you're a, if, if you just graduated from high school, and you don't know what you want to do, and maybe you're working someplace, then it's also convenient for them to say, well, this is in the evening. Yeah, I can, you know, maybe I need to find out what it is I have an interest in. Sure. And, and, and that's what we're hoping for is that some students, instead of going and spending the uh, $21,000 a year it costs to go to a state school around here for one year and try to figure things out, we want students that aren't sure what they want to do yet to come in and take a couple classes with us. You know, we have a, we have a, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, We have 15 classes going on right now wow. in, 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 in a variety of topics. So students can come in, take a class, you know, see if they're college material. You know, uh, they might not know, they might not have that uh, courage to take the class. And, and this allows them at a discounted price, not a discounted education, but a discounted price to take our classes and see, hey, is this something that I really want to do without breaking the bank, without going into debt? And, and as we all know, you know, uh, um, student loans are, are crazy right now. And the beauty of what we do is we are one third the national average for college classes. And that's even, it's, we're about one tenth the national average for dual enrollment classes. So wow. a high school student can take a three credit college class for $180 plus the cost of a book. So wait, 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 wait. Yeah, go say, ahead. No, say that again. A high school student okay. can take a three credit college class from us for $180 plus the cost of their book. So if you're a sophomore, wow. so if you're a sophomore or a junior in high school, you can take, let's say you take one class as a junior in your fall, one class junior spring, one class uh, senior fall, one class senior spring, that's four classes, that's 12 credits. You know, the average course load for a college student is 15 to 18 credits. So you're looking at 12 credits out of the way. Guess what? You have almost a semester out of the way at one tenth the price. That's incredible. It's amazing. So let me ask you this, Steve. Uh, it, when you're talking to these students, is it is it more confusing today, the, the choices that, that you have? I mean, you know, when we were going through school, the big push was well, everybody's got to go to college. Everybody's got to go to college, right? So now, the last couple of years, there's that realization that, no, not everybody has to go to college. Not everybody's meant to. There's, you know, these trades. Right. And, but even if you're doing the trade route, it is nice to pick up some of those extra courses and take some classes, right? right. Just right, to help right, you right. out as, a, as an individual. But when you're looking at those costs, it's, you know, who's going to do that? It, but this is a great way of of maybe heading that direction. I, exactly. You know, for the longest time, everyone said, you got to go to four-year college if you want to make it in this world. You have to, you have to, you have to. Well, that's not, a, that's not the truth. Um, I, I understand why that was the case, and maybe when the population was uh, much smaller than it is today, uh, that might have been the case. But, the, the, you know, you don't need a f uh, four-year business degree. You don't need an MBA to go out there and do a lot of the jobs in, in business. You know, two-year associate's degree is, is plenty. And you can save a lot of money and spend two years uh, of your life in education, uh, getting, getting some schooling, as well as working at the same time, getting some experience. And you add the time value of money into that, you know, you're not going to have many student loans. And, and, and when we... When we talk about, um, 
you know, some of those other programs that are out there, so the workforce development programs, we're offering those as well. So we're doing an academic track and we're also doing like a vocational track uh, for certificates and, and what have you. Um, we know this area is riddled with, I mean, loaded, loaded, loaded with uh, jobs in tool and dye and precision manufacturing and timber and gas and oil. And, 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 and there are plenty of, of jobs in this area. Um, people might not realize that. Um, they're not the highest paying jobs like they were when Pennzoil was around and, and, uh, and, and Penbank was here. But there's still jobs around here. And uh, if people want to go out and, and uh, find those jobs, uh, they're not difficult to find. Once they find those jobs, there's an opportunity for them to, uh, through us, is to uh, you know, uh, get a leg up in their, in their position because we offer certain things like blueprint reading. You know, some people may have had it in high school during VoTech and might need a refresher course. We offer blueprint reading. Uh, we're offering uh, fundamentals of geometric dimensioning and tolerancing. <laughs> yeah, I know. I had to learn what that was. And that just means, you know, understanding how something fits into a space and make sure that it doesn't break when you fit into the space. So this is CAD oh, stuff. So like uh, at Thanksgiving after eating too much, will I be able to sit in that chair? <laughs> Do I have to unbutton my belt? Do I have to unbutton? Yeah, exactly. So that's, exactly. Uh, you guys offer what, four two-year associate degrees? That is correct. We have business administration criminal justice, early childhood education with an early intervention aspect to it, and then we offer a general degree, which we call interdisciplinary studies. And that's a great track to get on into if you want to go to a four-year college, but you just don't know what you want to do yet. So you come in, you take some of those classes, you figure, figure out kind of where you want to go and what you want to do, and then you can transfer those into a, a, a four-year school. You're watching The Morning Drill on stream television and Armstrong and listening to it on the Allegheny News Talk Sports Network. We're here with uh, Steve Carr this morning. Um, you have this here uh, on the site, but uh, the, the tagline for the school, your, your mantra, if you will, uh, affordable and accessible education. Correct. What does that mean? I know you kind of talked about some of that. Sure. So let's go back to the affordable real, real, real quick. Affordable means we want it to, to be an option for the, 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 the residents of Northwest PA. Um, you know, the, the price of a private college in this area, is the average is about $43,000 a year. Ouch. Uh, the, uh, the, the average for a uh, state school is about uh, 21000 a year. Um, for our two-year associate degree, we're less than $15,000 all in, and that includes books, all right? All in. Really? All in. So affordable, it's $185 a credit, um, and obviously each, generally three credit classes. So it, it breaks down, to, uh, we have our students take a 12, 12, 9, 12, 12, 9 course load. So that would be 12 in the spring, 12 in the, or 12 in the fall, 12 in the spring, 9 in the summer, and we do that twice um, to get your associate's degree. And, and the reason we can do that is because we don't have that overhead. You know, we, we go right to the, we, we go bare bones. We bring it into you, we give you the education that you need. And mind you, the, these classes were helped they were developed by Gannon University in, asso in association with uh, the Northern Pennsylvania Region College and our wonderful staff up in Warren. Um, but they are Gannon credits on a Gannon transcript right now. Um, so you're getting Gannon credits on a Gannon transcript at our price, which is staggering. <laughs> you know, so th the thing to do was take some classes with us and then maybe transfer into Gannon University. Um, but Gannon has been a wonderful partner with us, helping us set up this cl these classes, helping us set up our majors and, and what have you. And we can't thank them enough for all that they've done. So the, the affordability aspect of it is, uh, it, it, it is there. We accept financial aid just like any other uh, school does. You know, we'll take uh, the Rotary Scholarship. We'll take, um, you know, uh, FIA and FAFSA and all that stuff as well. Uh, so that, that's a, just a little bit about uh, the affordability of it. And, and, you know, you don't have to do it all at once. You can break it down. You can take two classes at a time, you know, instead of being on a four, full course load. Um, so affordability is one thing that we wanted to make sure. We are a rural area. It doesn't mean we're poor. It means we're rural. That means there's a lot of space in between us, which is beautiful, if I may say so. But it also lends uh, itself to um, some barriers that other places do not have. Sure. Um, now, now, when it comes to that, that aspect, trying to figure out um, 
you know, what's going to be too much for me? I would imagine the great thing about this is it's on an individual basis, right? So everybody's different. So would they contact somebody like you and sit down with you and say, listen, these are my hours that I work. I really would like to do this. What makes sense for me? You know, what can I, you know, realistically handle in terms of number of classes and the time and all that? Correct. So, you know, you hit on it earlier when you mentioned I'm the student success specialist. So one of my jobs is to uh, recruit students, bring students into their school, enroll them, and help them get on their way. The other part of that is to advise them. You know, I sit down with students. Uh, I, I sat down with uh, someone from Pleasantville just last week, and we went over, um, you know, what's a good career path for you? This is what you want to do. Okay, how can we help you? This is what I see, A, B, C, one, two, three. This is what you've done, X, Y, Z, elemental P, you know. And, and we'll sit there and we'll try to figure it out. So I sit down with the students in my area, which is Crawford, Venango, and Forest Counties. We have uh, four other people doing the same throughout our, our nine county region. And uh, we try to come up with a good course uh, uh, um, plan of attack, if you will, or a good, a good set of classes you can take uh, each semester and you know, figure out what are your career goals? What are your education goals? What do you want to do? What, what, and and uh, you know, I've been in uh, post-secondary education for 20 years, so uh, I have a little experience in this. So, uh, and it, it's important that we are able to work with the people uh, in, in our areas because they do have lives, they do have children, they do, uh, they have graduated recently from high school. They're all different types of, of students that we have. So, um, uh, the beauty in getting back to your, your previous question that kind of rolls into that is that, um, we're accessible. You know, I'm accessible. I'm right here in town. I live here in town. I get over to Meadville three days a week. I'm over at Tynesta, you know, a couple days a week. I'm over at Marionville once a week. You know, I check in with the, all our sites to make sure everything's up and running properly and uh, to meet with people and, and what have you. Um, so the accessibility that we talk about is, is twofold. You know, number one, we are local. We have uh, sites. I have a site over at the Meadville Votech. I have one here at Pitt at Titusville. I have one at East Forest and West Forest. We have one at Corey High Ed. We have one up at Union City. Uh, there's one up at Gannon. Uh, we have 18 different uh, sites that you go to to take these classes. Mm -hmm. Um, and we're expanding, so we're looking to expand into Venango County. Uh, you know, we have uh, some interest there. We have a site picked out there that we, we, want, we we're excited about using. And uh, so accessibility means it's close to home for you. You can get to one of our classes within 30 minutes of where you live. And so that takes a little bit of driving, so you're going to have to add that on to your, uh, um, to, to your day, if you will. Um, but the other thing about accessibility is the ability to take class, meaning all you need is that high school diploma or college or, uh, or GED. So we're not putting a barrier on who gets to take class with us. We're accessible to everyone, almost everyone. And uh, I, I do have students that uh, have uh, obtained their GED that are taking classes with us and that are doing just fine. So um, our classes are... I would imagine it's a, uh, maybe a little less intimidating, right? Because some of that, especially if you get older and you're thinking, boy, I should take some classes, but I don't, I don't know if I'm going to fit in with, uh, with you know, younger students. You know, there's that fear sometimes. Uh, and I've heard this from, from those uh, older students, right? That, yeah. I don't, I don't know if I want to do that. This sounds like the focus is more about them and, and their path than it is about are you going to mix in with you know the right students correct our, our, our student population is pretty diverse it, re it really is we have like i said we have high school students taking class alongside uh students that just graduated last year al uh, sitting alongside someone who's you know 35 years old and has a family and and and, and what have you who's sitting right next to a grandmother of four yeah, you know, so our, our it, it's a it's a neat population, and and the reason that we don't do it online is we want some of that accountability. We want that interaction that you go to a site and you're able to interact with other students, not just with the professor, but with the other students. So you can turn to the other student and say, "Hey, did you understand what the, uh, Professor Rio said today?" 
I don't understand why we can't come up with the last four digits of pi. <laughs> All right? I just don't get that. So, well, I don't know if anybody can. I don't think anybody can come up with that one. You've got to be pretty smart to come up with that one. But, I mean, the interaction... Well, it's infinity, isn't it? It goes on and on and it on. It goes on. It never ends. So <laughs> the, the, the interaction um, is, is, is a classroom setting. So okay. we're not an online university. You know, you, you can't... And, and that, that accountability factor is... I mean, you know as well as I do is that, okay, you have something to do. I have to prepare for that. I have to get ready for it. And you have to think about it ahead of time instead of just pulling you know, your computer while you're watching the Browns game or the Steelers game or whoever you like to watch and sit down there and try to do some of your work. That's not how we operate. Right. But but I guess my point was it's not going, you're not going on to that, that giant campus setting. You're going to one of these locations and it's, it's going to feel a little bit more personalized. A familiar location within your community or... Or, or, or close near, by. Yeah. Or close, right, exactly. or close by. So, yeah, I mean, you know, even though our, our uh, site here in Titusville is at the University of Pittsburgh at Titusville, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you this, you know, if, if you're in Titusville and you haven't been on the campus, you really need to check out the campus. It's a beautiful campus, mm-hmm. and we have classes in, in the student union there. Um, we have our own designated classroom there. We have our own designated classroom at the Meadville Vote Tech. We have our own designated classroom over at the Tidu Charter School, you know, th- that have our banners up and then our colors are shown and, and stuff like that. So we try to make it a, a really a, a homey place for sure. the students to come in. And it's not, you know, we're not the traditional education that you see out there. Well, Steve, if folks have any questions, uh, want to find you to learn more, how can they do that? Uh, they can give me a call at uh, 814 814- Five eight four zero 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 two, or you can email me at s c a r r at r r n. Let me figure this one out. R r n r r n c p a dot org. Okay, so eight one four five eight four zero 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 two to get a hold of uh, Steve Carr with uh, Northern Pennsylvania Regional College. Steve, great to see you. Thank Thanks you for, for stopping by. Appreciate it. Well, the good old days may not return.